morning everybody. I just want to tell you about what life will be like um, if we are asked to reopen and for those children that are, are able to come in. So in the morning we've got three different entrances that we'll be using. So children will either come in in the earliest entrance, the pupil entrance here, or via the main school entrance and you'll be told which entrance to use and what time to use. There will be markers on the floor for social distancing. Uh, only one adult will be able to bring their child in um, at any one time. Um, and so out here there'll be plenty of space. We'll make sure that children come in and leave the school uh, one at a time so that social distancing can be In the corridors we will have a one-way system. So children and adults will move up the corridor this direction and then we'll walk down all the way down towards reception where they'll come out the key stage one doors onto the courtyard and then they will go across the courtyard and come in through the hall, up the hall and then back round here. On the floor you can see that we've got red tape but at two meter intervals so that will help people to maintain their two meter distancing. The toilets round the corner here will uh, there'll be separate toilets for each of the groups and children will be brought to the toilet by an adult to make sure that there are uh, there's adequate space and there's not too many other children in the toilet at any one time. So this is an example of what a classroom um, will look like. We have got desks you can see spaced apart, we've got uh, tissues so each child will have uh, tissues and they'll also have their own resource box so all of their resources and all of their belongings will be here we won't have anything out in the corridors so no PE kits children are asked to wear trainers so these boxes normally for PE kits can be used for their resources uh, you can see that we've got at the front here white tape to show this is where the teacher is for the majority of the time and this is where the children are uh, you can see that we've got the doors will be left open and windows will be open for ventilation. All of the soft furnishings and indeed lots of the bigger furniture at the side has been taken out to create more space um, for desks. We have take off, taken away the soft furnishings and things that can't be easily cleaned. So all of this uh, you can see is wiped clean. Over here you can see we've got the uh, towel dispenser and the soap dispenser. They will be up on the walls uh, in each classroom and in here is drinking water. So water bottles that children bring in and keep with them here can be filled up here as well as hands that can be washed. Um, bins specifically for tissue, as I say, wipe clean surfaces and there'll be a cleaning uh, that goes on during the day, not just at the end of the day. In terms of uh, learning, the children will be following the same curriculum as the children at home. Obviously teachers, as they always do, will adapt as best they can to the needs of the children and we will do as much learning as we can outside as well and we're blessed with our beautiful grounds so we'll take advantage of those. To begin with there'll be a period of transition where we'll have a recovery curriculum using the SWAN approach which stands for safe and uh, welcoming and all together and nurture and it will uh, enable us to create a sense of trust and belonging so that the children feel confident and happy to take on any academic work that they're, they're asked to do. Each group or bubble will have its own separate zone to play in. So one of the zones is this area here. You can see that at the front here we've got our one-way system marked off so the children and adults will walk along this way, round the back of the climbing frame and into the middle doors of the hall where they'll go back up towards the office and then you can see that the route goes all the way around. So as you can see this um, zone here is uh, just for one bubble only, one group of children. They will have their own play equipment which will be cleaned at the end of each day and that equipment will not be used by any other group. You can see that the uh, play equipment is taped off here so no use of, of this. I hope that this video has helped you to be able to make an informed decision about whether or not you think it is right to send your child back to school at the current time. Thank you for watching.